When I finished high school, I was just ready to conquer the world. I needed a big challenge just to give me confidence to face university life. So I decided to get myself a Mickey done. It was a journey. It was a very hard, long process. This piece on my leg, I designed myself as based through a Filipino back tattoo that uh, follows the contours of your body. The Ao is just a straight blade that only does uh, symmetrical uh, lines. For, for a tattoo artist to, to curve that line is very difficult and the Sulape boys have affected that. I wanted it to tie in with the Sumai Miki. I didn't want it to be so abstract and make it look, you know, and I, I think I achieved it. I've got so many compliments from a lot of people. I come from a tattooing family from Savai. After getting my tattoo done and studying at the same time, I just developed a big interest in the, in the art form and, and wanted to carry on the tattoo traditions of my family. We haven't had a tattooist in three generations, so I took my, a year off from studies just to get our tools back. So yeah, here I am in Samoa doing my apprenticeship under Sulawapi. There's a new ink line, uh, it's called Sulawapi Black. The Sulawapi family's ink, it's sold online all over the world. And I'm thinking of uh, getting my full pet done again because this ink is true black. It's blacker than black, so just wanted to uh, make my Sumai Miki stand out even more. My dad, uh, the first man ever to uh, get his full Sumai Miki done twice, he went through a lot. <laughs> Tattooing is patience, so I uh, just gotta wait for uh, tattoo conventions when I meet great artists and hopefully get get my tattoos done for free, so <laughs> that's what I'm planning to do.